Hello and welcome back to Jimbo's PC Builds. First I'd like to say a big thank you to those that have subscribed recently. It's been great to see. It's been fantastic for the channel and I hope you all enjoy the videos. In a prior video I compared the Noctua NHU12S to the AMD stock cooler. Basically trying to look at whether it was worth investing the money in buying that cooler and if you got any performance benefit from it. Now that cooler is worth a considerable amount of money. It's quite an investment. So what I decided to do is look at the possibility of a cheaper option. The CPU I've got on my test bench is an R5 2600. It's not the most difficult CPU to cool around. So would you say that the Noctua cooler is overkill for that CPU? Now, if you're going to do overclocking, etc., it's not overkill because it's worth the money for that kind of thing. But for your average general everyday user, just doing that web, web browsing, that kind of stuff, or even gaming, is it really worth spending that money for, for, for that type of cooler? So I decided to look. So the cooler I decided to take a look at is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. It's a lot less expensive than the Octo Cooler. So I put it on my test bed and did the same test that I did with an Octo Cooler and the AMD Cooler to have a look at the results. So without further ado, let's bring up the chart and see how this cooler did compared to the other two. So the Hyper 212 idled at 32 degrees Celsius. This is in comparison to the around the same as the AMD at 33 and was a lot more than the Nocta at 24. However, when at max load, it only went up to a maximum of 52 Celsius, which is exactly the same as the Noctua and a lot less than the AMD. All three coolers turbo boosted to the same 3.9 gigahertz. For the Cinebex score, the Hyper 212 managed to reach 2757, which is only a little bit shorter than Noctua, but a lot more than the AMD cooler. So in conclusion, the Hyper 212 Black Edition RGB, don't forget the RGB, is a pretty good cooler. It's a lot cheaper than an Octua and does just as good a job on the R5 2600. As I mentioned earlier, I don't think it will be able to compete with an Octua on CPUs that are harder to cool like Ryzen 9s. But for um, R5 2600, 3600, it'll be a great cooler at a great price. One thing um, I will say, um, the Noctua was a lot quieter than the Hyper 212. Um, the fan wasn't working anywhere near as hard as the Hyper 212 was. I don't know if you can hear it behind me, but the, I can actually hear all audible noise from the Hyper 212 where I couldn't hear anything from the Noctua. All right, I hope that information's helpful. Again, please subscribe to the channel. It's very, very helpful in the modern days of not being able to monetize without God knows how many subscribers on YouTube. Please like the video as it helps with the search optimization on YouTube, which is always fantastic. So if you could put really be helpful you could uh, toss a like on for us and as always remember oh don't forget to click the little bell icon to get future content and as always take care